Five thirty, uh, the beginning on this Monday evening of these um, hours and hours and hours of steady rain. By the way, if you haven't seen this, I posted this on my uh, Facebook page that you can link to from the home page of the app and my desktop, PortlandWeather.com. But this is on the uh, National Weather Services page, and it's a warning map. So you've got all kinds of high seas and storm warnings offshore in purple. The combined seas overnight tonight into tomorrow going up to 25 feet. The darker tan color here, that's the high wind warning for the coast and elevations of 1,000 feet in the coast range through tomorrow morning. Maybe some gusts 60, 65 miles per hour. This lighter tan color is the wind advisory up and down the Willamette Valley. This does not include Kelso, but it does come up uh, into the Columbia River in Clark County. Some gusts have already been up to about 30 miles per hour. We get some 40 plus mile per hour gusts tonight. There is the ongoing chance if you live at 1,000 feet, a high metro hill, Mount Scott, the West Hills, that you could have a 50 mile per hour plus gust at some point tonight because the jet stream winds aloft and the winds at 5,000 feet, the atmosphere are really strong. So we're watching that. The green, which does include all the way back to the coast, continues to be that uh, flood watch. And then all these colors in central and eastern Oregon continue to be uh, advisories and watches for high wind over that direction as well. Here's our weather system. And as we talked yesterday, right here is the jet stream streak, and basically it's coming right into our area. I just checked. All the forecast models go upwards of about two inches of total rain for the valley and not much higher at the coast and maybe not much higher in the mountains, although you would assume if we get two inches in Portland, maybe an inch and a half through tomorrow morning, then some more during the day, that that would have to be three to four inches in the mountains, but, but we'll see. I do want to point out, let me um, erase this. Well, hold on. Hold on. Where's my eraser? Boom. <laughs> All right, come on. Erase. Erase. There we go. Forecast models take a cold front tomorrow morning, and they drop it down to our south, and that would shut off the steady rain. But this jet stream keeps coming, which makes me think this frontal boundary could stall during the day tomorrow. And if it does, the moisture would keep channeling right along it, and we would have at least occasional shots of some pretty hefty rain all the way through tomorrow. So that's one part of the forecast that's a bit, that is a bit uncertain. Uh, otherwise, I don't really have any changes to my, well, back up the truck. I don't really have any changes to my seven-day forecast. So tomorrow, do we see rain throughout the day? I think there's at least a 50-50 shot of that. Wednesday, a light rain chance, but really pretty dry. Thursday, rain develops in the morning. This could be a half of an inch. Friday, pretty dry. Saturday daytime, pretty dry. Saturday night, Sunday, maybe that's well over half of an inch. And then Monday, I'm watching for developing low that could be kind of wet and wild in its own right. Right now, Christmas Day looks pretty quiet. Not a 0% chance of rain, but pretty quiet. Don't forget, you can check out snow levels on my Mount Hood Ski Forecast page. I'll be up early tomorrow morning updating everything. Until then, let's expect a very wet, kind of gnarly commute tomorrow morning.